something potentially huge is going to happen today we will talk not only about donald trump tweeting about bitcoin about the federal reserve about the economic crisis which is maybe coming up the currency crisis we will also talk about the implications on bitcoin about the price in the short and midterm and also whether 16,000 is still in place so if you want to see that make sure you take a seat you smash up that like button right now and that being said we want to come to the most important question of today da vinci j15 how are you doing today my man i'm doing great thanks chris my foot is you know what i think it's almost 100 i stopped using the brace uh on my foot and it's not uh, swelling up as much as it used to so that i i think i could probably start running soon so i'm looking forward to that wow because right? man it's it's been it's been a long haul i don't use a, a crutch anymore so that's good and now i could probably start running and i'm happy for that because i want to get back to running and exercising and getting my my weight down quite a bit because you know what i'm a little quite like at least 10 kilos overweight so ah come on you don't have overweight man stop it but yeah i it's great to hear that because i was like i was i was um looking at your leg and the progress since january when we met in person and it really did it hurt my heart and i saw the progress step by step and it's very nice to see that you are close to 100 right now and you know what it's also because of the viewers because they have been smashing up the like button so much <laughs> that you are really getting close to the 100 so thank you for everyone watching that you did that for da vinci j15 because da vinci we need you here we need satoshi in our show we need you in the world to um like drop your knowledge bombs on us and that being yeah. said guys Today, we will maybe put some timestamps in the description, but it's very important to watch the whole episode because we will start with some major news. Da Vinci starts on that and also the implications on the prices. And we will do the TA in the end of the episode because that will be key to understand the TA also. Make sure you stay here for the whole episode. And Da Vinci, I already said it in the introduction. Uh, Donald Trump has been tweeting about crypto, about Bitcoin is especially, and um, there is a bigger story behind it. So can you elaborate a little bit more on that, maybe? Yeah, well, I'm sure everybody's seen this this tweet, right, uh, with Donald Trump, right, stating, right, he's not a fan of Bitcoins and, and other cryptocurrencies, right? Uh, this is actually a good thing because, you know what, he's the first president to ever mention Bitcoins. It's a good thing for bitcoins, gold, silver, and all, all, all other commodities because you can tell that this is has an underlying tone that, that something's wrong with the dollar because he's mentioned that the dollar is strong. And you can see that because when the governments tend to open their mouth about something that's that they shouldn't do like they should they say the opposite of what's really yeah, you watch, should be doing basically. Watch carefully now guys. Yeah, so why don't you play that clip, yes. for example, of, of I'm going to go back to, to my face here. And yes. why don't we play that clip from hanging, hang, hammering Hank Paulson. He was his Treasury Secretary back in 2008, right, before the crisis of financial crisis. What did he say? Yeah, exactly. I will show it right now. And also, quick background story, George W. Bush has been word by word saying the exact same thing. We didn't find the video yet. If you find the video, watch this video right now. If you find it, post it in the comments. We would be happy to see that. And that will have a very close connection to the tweet we have seen in this night. So listen carefully. It's a 10 second video. Also, by the way, for everyone wondering, our... Um, our trading competition on Bybit is still ongoing. You can win 0.2 Bitcoin, pause the video. You can see the three steps, how you can um, participate. Link in the pinned comment, happy trading, trade with caution. And now I will show you the video. And guys, listen carefully, please. So I will put my face away, check it out. Strong and decisive action. Our financial institutions are strong. Our investment banks are strong. Our banks are strong. They're going to be strong for many, many years. In July. All right. All right. So I will go back to the face mode of Da Vinci and I will show myself also. Did you hear that? Like the financial systems are strong. The banks are strong. Like it was 
one year. It actually, what was it? Two thousand eight. It was that like, was two thousand eight. That yeah, was so March of two thousand eight. It was not even half a year before the economy collapsed. Actually, so that was like on spot. If you have watched that and went on a short trade on the on the stock market, you would have made tremendous gains. And also, Da Vinci, as you saw that, you booked a vacation to watch the financial system collapse in front of your eyes. So can you tell us something about that? And also, can you build the bridge to the Trump tweet and how we can understand that right now? Yes. Uh, I Back in 2008, I was looking into the, 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 the banking system and how it worked. I wanted to understand bank balance sheets because once I understood how bank uh, money worked, I realized I wanted to understand how the banks worked. And when I was looking at it, I was like, Something ain't right here. <laughs> These banks, I must be reading this wrong. Because <laughs> these banks are all going to collapse. Yes. And I'm like, and then I thought I was like completely wrong until, of course, Bush said, yeah, our financial system is strong. Our banks are strong. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm right. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so I booked that trip but just to watch. All those those yeah. those uh, banks collapse, and and also quick background story. Da Vinci, you have been talking about that a few weeks ago on our channel, because usually people on the lower government side start to talk very good about the economy when something is brewing, and then it continues and people on the higher side on the governmental thing and the end game the real end game is when the president goes out and says that everything is fine everything will be fine everything is healthy and that's actually the end game you have said that a couple of uh, weeks ago when the federal reserve started talking about the economy and now exactly it's like you have been predicting that again the president comes out and it's getting even better he's not only talking well about the us dollar bitcoin is included in the tweet so you cannot make it up it's like the perfect thing for 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 our assumption right now he's not only talking about fiat currencies but also about bitcoin in the exact same thread on twitter exactly so, exactly i mean it started with The, 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 the see how they brought out they brought brought out all these old people <laughs> to, to show us show us that no oh, everything's fine don't worry go back to sleep yeah we, we got it all under control here yeah okay so you know that something's brewing when they're trying to keep build up confidence and that in fact the whole financial system is a confidence game or other words a con game right? oh that sounds good <laughs> <laughs> a con game of con artists obviously exactly and you know what it's unfortunate that uh i think it's unfortunate at least it's my opinion it, that it's unfortunate that the fed chairman came out positive with positive remarks of with bitcoin because i would like him to say something negative personally but he was stating that it's like gold 2.0 and people just use it as a store of value and so forth And his only concern is probably Libra. Now, I would have held, I would have hoped that he would have said, "No, no, it's not money. It's nothing." Just like Peter Schiff. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Or the president. But uh, you can't always get what you want. So hopefully, uh, this is uh, this is still positive. This is. I still think this. I take this as a positive note for Bitcoin. Uh, I don't think that means that Bitcoin is going to zero or anything because he mentioned it. Right in a positive light, but uh, I do see uh, I do see that we've got more exposure. So what's that going to happen with the price? Is that is what everybody wants to know, right? Exactly, exactly. So um, you want to jump into the charts and tell us uh, maybe exactly how these news, the recent news from the last one or two days, also with Trump, maybe have an impact on the short and midterm price. So maybe we can focus a little bit on today, the next week, and then also focus about um, on the next few months. And also, please, let's also focus on whether 16,000 is still in place because so many people are asking. Yeah, well, first off, right, this was this this down move was brutal. I'm sure a lot of people, uh, especially the people in my uh, Telegram group who followed me in on a long at the bottom here, they they uh, they followed. Some people got in like I noticed that a lot of people got in at 10,950 
some others got in at eleven thousand, uh, eleven thousand and, and and change, right? Uh, some people got in eleven thousand two hundred, right? And, and they and they they had a good nice run. I did mention in our other videos that that we that I moved a stop. I set a stop loss, pretty much around uh, a twenty one hundred. Where was it? Right here, right there, there twelve thousand, right there. That was my stop loss, right? Um, and of course, I got taken out on that when it came back down in this brutal move down. It was kind of hard, hard to watch. And I hope that some uh, some of our viewers, uh, or at least some of our Telegram group uh, members, did take that stop loss. I didn't mention that in the group, and I'm real sorry if I missed, if I didn't have, I didn't have time to get to to talk to everybody in the group and point out that we need to like take profits. You know what, Vinci? Um, you 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 was you were stopped out in a profit. I I think that's still very nice. But I think I will I will also show the audience later on how you can set a stop loss and also how you can inc um, change your stop loss after you made the trade. I think that could be very important for the viewers because um, I feel like not everyone knows that right now. Yeah, exactly. It's it's very important to know how to use your stop losses and use them correctly, especially if you're using your own money as a, for stop losses because um, depending on uh, how, how you where you're trading, you could have your stops jump. What that means is that you place your stop order and the price jumps over it. Yes. Right. And you never get filled. And so you start losing bleeding money straight down as, as the market continues down. So you should learn how to manage that kind of stop as well. But that's another story. That's for another, another day. What everybody wants to know is this down move the end of the $16,000 uh, projection that I've made in the past. And the ants, the, should I should I give them the quick answer? <laughs> Why not? Why not? If you want to, <laughs> or keep them suspended. Okay, fine. The quick answer is it's 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 still in play because as long as we do not break down here, which is at sorry, not down here, it's at nine thousand six hundred and fourteen dollars. As long as we don't break that. The sixteen thousand uh, dollar move is in play now. Of course, actually no. Sorry, M let me take that back. It, because we we did the we did A B equals C D from here. I, I'm so sorry. I have to take that back. Okay, so we did the A B equals C D from here to there, right? And then we cloned it, right? So it has to not break this level right here no we did it from no, here from yeah that's bottom. right that is right that's still in play yeah. so yeah that's correct 9600 so, yeah. approximately 9600 is that also equal to a stop loader you would recommend like only for yourself yes i i want to i want to trade up to here i want i want to do a trade up to here but this would be the stop loss yes for the ultimate like hey we're going down further than like 8000 8,500, 8,000, maybe even 7,200, right? Yeah. If we break this level. Um, so what are the odds of us breaking this? Um, right now, honestly, with Trump tweeting out that he's against Bitcoin and he wants to, obviously the, nobody wants to make the president look foolish and have Bitcoin go to 16,000 in front of him. <sighs> I'm sure he might have some market makers going out to um, push the price down of Bitcoin. That's and true. So that, that's true. But on, that. the, on the other side, if Bitcoin goes to sixteen thousand, he could he he it, he will have a point, and because he said it's made out of thin air, very volatile, he can say, "Look at that! It's really made of thin air. It it went to sixteen thousand in a matter of a week. It's very volatile. It's dangerous." So he could still make a point on sixteen thousand. You know. That's true. That's true. He could. It could be a heads I win, tails you lose kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> like he, he can always say that. Remember, Peter Schiff is saying that since eight or nine years, the price is keeping increasing, and he still has reputation because he's always making a different story out of it. And so can the United States, uh, the president of the United States, also maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. 
Yeah, but here's the thing: when the, the bitcoins is not a problem until they talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's a problem because they're talking about it, right? Yeah. What and did because you... They, you you didn't hear of them say anything about Bitcoin in 2013, right? Yes. What What do you actually think, Da Vinci? Um, what will be let's say the currency crisis comes what will be the implication when right now we are talking about the short term that was short term if we are looking at the midterm for example the next couple of months what would you say are the implications of what have has recently happened on the prices within the next month oh yes this has a long in in the long term like for the next three to six months this is going to be very bullish so Even if they take the price down to 8,000, that's not going to last long. You know right? how to satisfy Moonboy's ears, man, really. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a very quick trip, a round trip to 8,000 and back up to 20 grand. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So maybe Da Vinci, can, um, can you help me on something like, before we go into deeper technical analysis for that short term trade? And obviously everyone make your own TA. Can you um, help me? What is the what is the trade you would actually look at going in right now if you are not in the trade? I mean, the stop loss is at 9,500. Well, I mean, this is that's the ultimate stop loss. You don't have to do, do that one because I mean, there's just the risk is just too high because your risk to reward ratio is too high um, if you were to try to get in um, from here at this price. So. Um, What we, what you, if you wanted to, to uh, trade this market right now, and and see if what what you can get, I would um, let's see here. Um, let's take a look at a lower time frame because there's nothing here on the higher on the higher time frame. Um, we've uh, I've already gotten in on a, a long around eleven thousand two hundred. Um, if you want to do another one here, what you have an opportunity here, but it's at the really lower time frames to get in and not, but not, uh, but you have to take a very short term trade here, very short term with a tight stop. If you yes. wanted to take a trade um, on this market, um, what you could do is do an AB equals CD from here to there. Clone that and say, okay, well, I'm going to take a trade up to to this level right here. I think, yeah, right there. Yes. And so that takes us up to 12,275. Uh, so the, uh, the stop loss is going to be $11,560. And in fact, I have a stop. My stop loss from the from the um, from this uh, buy order down here. This trade that I took down here yeah. is now moved to that level here. Now, um, this is a very good risk to reward ratio. If we take it all the way up there, you're talking about a one percent loss. So you could actually do a hundred x leverage. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do that, <laughs> guys. Don't do 100x. I mean, if you want to potentially lose your money, you can do 100x leverage trade. It's a high upside, but you know the risk is like crazily high. Come, come on, guys. Be, be cautious. Be cautious. Yeah, and then that that gives you a five to one <laughs> risk to reward ratio. It's a very risky trade. Don't be surprised if you get stopped out on this particular trade. So um, and then you have to just reset and, and then look at the market again and say, okay, what do I do next? So when you, what are the parts? One of the things about trading is you have to understand you're going to be wrong. Yeah. And so you have to accept the the, the times that you're wrong and then just say, okay, I'm wrong. All right, what do I do next? What's the next thing to do? And that's all you have to do when you're dealing in trading. So that example would be, for example, would you would is it at the market price or would you set a limit in this case for this very short I would, risk? I would wait until it comes back down because this thing's really tightening and it's probably going to be bouncing around for a little bit more. I think you can get in at eleven thousand six hundred and eighty-two dollars. Yeah, that's not a huge difference between where we are right now, um, because it's at eleven thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. Uh, but right. Um, you know, if you do if you do 100x leverage, 
and you're doing it on <laughs> it's a big difference exactly exactly <laughs> so maybe da vinci because a lot of people have been um, texting us i got liquidated and so on let me just for a quick second show you for for this particular trade and don't just go out there and make the exact same trade but for this exact short-term trade da vinci has shown us which which can be risky let me show you how can set, how you can set a proper stop loss because many people are trading on bybit or so um for example and they don't know how to make a stop loss also very important on top of the pin comments you will find a um, bo deposit bonus link if you register with that one you get for your deposit 110 dollars of free bonus only with our link you can see that right there on the pin comments but if you go on your favorite leverage exchange okay and then you put in the price of what was it 11,600 da vinci yes the it was uh 11,600 approximately is good enough to, to yeah so you can go on limit for example you can put in 11,600 or so for the sake or to make it easier here we make a market order which you probably shouldn't do if you want to you can but so we put in a quantity of let's do just one full bitcoin okay so we go for 11,700 and then you can choose your leverage. For example, I'm going for a 10x leverage trade. You press on buy long if you want to go long and then you can take your stop loss. You click that check mark and then you put in 11,550, for example, as your stop loss and take profit. You can also automate that so you can exclude the psychology and you put in 12,000. 250 was it da vinci or what was it 12200 for the stop loss or the the, yeah. the, uh, target? the take profit the target yeah the target is 12250 50 dollars $51. so you can can put your take profit you can put your stop loss you can automate it and then you can confirm and actually afterwards you can um you can change your stop loss if the price is going up and you want to be stopped out in the worst case in a profit you can do that basically just by setting a new stop loss very very easy guys so now you finally know and if you get liquidated you at least had a proper setup so always make your own research make your own ta take it only as inspirational things here but now you finally know how to make a stop loss how to put a take win because actually we have a tutorial but it seems like not everyone is watching it that was like the one minute tutorial there you go there you go people so now you won't get wrecked <laughs> exactly and um i mean is there anything else you would like to talk about maybe da vinci i think next week we might not see us but who knows maybe we can do it if we don't uh, can't do it we will still provide a lot of content here um is there anything you want to talk about anything important maybe yeah I, i'm gonna be taking a week off i won't be doing any videos for next week i want to um finish off the pandora's wallet client uh, we're almost uh, finished at uh, the finish line and I just want to just get to that that point where where it's completely fixed and finished and I can like uh, start the testing process on the next version of it and then release that version for the end of this month. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so that's why I'm going to just, you know, focus on on that. So I won't be uh, providing any TA in the uh, Telegram group, but uh, look for me the week after. I can't wait to try out the new version, man. I can't wait for that. So I'm sure the people also can't wait. Comment also down below what you thought about today's episode. What do you think about the Trump tweet? What do you think about the economic situation in general? Also in the first world countries right now, let us know in the comments and also smash up the like button to get Da Vinci to the 100% flat for his leg. So Da Vinci, are there any last words you would like to say before we wrap up today's episode? Don't get wrecked. <laughs> exactly. And I also forgot it. The most important thing, subscribe to Da Vinci on his YouTube and on Twitter. On Twitter, he is pushing his free trades, sometimes in absolute real time. If you miss out on that, man, I don't know what you are doing here anyways. So make sure you do that. It's also in the description. And don't get wrecked. That was the perfect word to end up today's episode. There is a Bybit link in the description. You can support the channel. Thank you so much for that. We will see each other at the next episode of MM Crypto. A Bybit tutorial is popping up right here. And as always, guys, bye-bye.